Uh, my name is Joanna Courtney. I'm one of the specialist speech and language therapists at Call Scotland. Um, and I'm going to be talking about accessible early reading and writing resources um, for Clicker and Grid3 software. So let's get started. Okay, so as I said, I'm a speech and language therapist at Call Scotland. For anybody who doesn't know who we are, um, this is the link to our website, uh, lots of resources and information on assistive technology for pupils uh, with additional support needs. Um, lots of things to find on our website, lots of useful downloads, and the Symbols for All website, which is one that I'm very um, active um, in, along with Claire and Gillian, um, creating and uploading symbol resources for use in schools. So there's our team. That's our current team there outside and when we were allowed to be in the office. Um, hopefully that won't be too much longer before we're all back together again in person. OK, so I'm going to be talking a little bit about our collaboration with Scottish Book Trust. So most of you probably know Scottish Book Trust. You certainly will if you've got young children because they have a programme called the Book Bug programme in which um, books are gifted, three books are gifted to all children in Scotland from birth up to primary three. Um, and we have concentrated in the last almost 10 years now on creating accessible versions of the Book Bug books and in the last six years creating accessible simple resources to go with them. So the P1 pack is um, the pack that we have made the accessible versions of the books for. There's a little bit of a lag with my uh, with the iPad, as, as Claire had before. It just takes a wee minute to come up. Um, so Bug, um, Pitch Book Prize, the books go out to every P1 child in Scotland. But as we all know, um, there are lots of children who are um, chronologically older than that um, for whom the, the books are still very appropriate. Um, so, especially in ASN bases um, and with slightly older children in special schools too. Okay, so these shared reading resources, symbol resources to go with the books, um, this really ties in well with the, um, the Scottish curricular context in terms of curriculum for excellence and developing skills that pupils are going to need throughout their life and, and work. As we know, the, the purpose of Curriculum for Excellence for Capacities, which we all know by heart, and our way of thinking about it is that how, how can you be any of the four capacities if you can't read and access learning materials, if you depend on other people to write and talk for you, if you can't access information, and if you can't speak, write or communicate. So because of this, um, making accessible versions of, of picture books and story books for those early years and early primary age children is, is such an important thing to, to get people interested in reading and motivated, motivated to read as well. So since 2009, we've been uh, making accessible versions of the books. And from 2014 onwards, we started making symbolised resources to accompany the shortlist alongside the accessible copies. OK, and that's what that's um, myself up at Braidburn School with some of the staff and children um, doing a little interactive session on some of the PowerPoint versions of the books. So what's available? There are accessible digital versions of the, the books available for learners in Scotland. You can download them from the Books for All database. There are two types of PowerPoint for each story, a recorded narration and um, with independent navigation. And you can use that with any kind of access method, mouse, joystick, rollerball. Um, and then there's a switch prompt version, which also has recorded narration, but also is timed. So it's good for learners who are just learning to, to, to go through the book and to actually listen and interact with each page and that you don't want to rush through the story. So it's time to move on and you have a switch prompt up on the screen to give them that indication of when to press their switch or when to turn the page or when to use their eyes if they're using an eye gaze device too. There are also um, Keynote versions for available for iPads. So Keynote is basically the PowerPoint for iPads. So there's a Keynote version that you can download and new Grid 3 versions for eye gaze users and other access methods, but specifically very good for eye gaze users. So anybody who has Grid 3 software 
would be able to download those straight into it. I've also got later on in the presentation I'll talk, uh, a link to uh, where you can download a, a free trial of Grid3 if you want to try them out and see if they'd be suitable for your learners. And you can download all the copies of these this year's books from the Books for All website. So I'm just going to quickly take you there. So there's the taking you to the Book Awards page. So just from the main Books for All page, um, and this will take you to show you what this year's books are. You can see on the left there, and there's also the Scottish Teenage Book Prize on the right. Um, and then if I, um, I'm going to need to, then I will be able to search for any book that I like. Now, this is really handy because I can search for the titles if I know the titles. So, for example, one of this year's is Sophie Johnson, Unicorn Expert. So if I type in Sophie Johnson, there it is at the top there appearing, Sophie Johnson, Unicorn Expert. And it'll take me to all the different versions that we've got on the Books for All website. So you've got the keynote, the two versions of PowerPoint, the big bumper grid version, which has got learning activities too. And then these two grid versions down here, if I open one of them up, there's the grid three version, which is for the PC version of grid software. And then there is, if I just go back, there is the grid for iPad version as well. So there's a grid for iPad version. So you download that into the grid for iPad app. And I will show you. So there you go. And all you have to do is create a free account on our Books for All website. Um, so any um, teacher or a professional who's working with a pupil with a print disability, speech and language therapist, for example, as well, OT, um, you can create a free account and you can access those books for learners with a print disability. And I'm just going to come out of here and show you an example of how the grid book looks. So here we go. So this is the first page of Sophie Johnson, Unicorn Expert. My name is Sophie Johnson and I live with a unicorn. OK, so you've got the page from the book, you've got the audio prompt to turn the page and you've got the repetitive phrases that go with the story. So it's a nice early level. So then the child could either on the Aggie's device or on the iPad say, What a mess. What a mess. Our room's a bit of a mess. Oh, no. Oh, no. There he is. There he is. And they could point to the unicorn on the poster there or look with their eyes. And if you have the eye gaze dot turned on, you can see exactly where the pupil's looking and you can respond to them and say, yes, there he is. You're looking at the unicorn. And as you can hear there, we've got the Scottish voices in the grid um, grid software and on the iPad as well. Um, so there's the Scottish female voice, Mary, and there's also the Scottish female uh, male ch children's voice, Andrew. And then there's actually Andrew's the only male Scottish voice that you can get on the iPad. So that's that's really good. Oh, no. There's Mary again, just so you can hear. Turn the well, page. Well, not, not just, just one, one, actually. I think I have 17 at the moment. moment. OK, so that's now it's moved on on my iPad, but there's a little bit of a lag on the screen there. there it can go. be hard work looking after so many. There is always a lot to do. There you go. There's a wee bit of a lag on the iPad there. There you are. It's catching up now. Um, and then you've got the phrases to, to communicate about the story and to listen again. And if you're on an eye gaze device, you've got that rest cell at the top there that you could rest your eyes and look around the screen without activating anything. So that's a good free version of the book. So there are versions for each of the books. So that's the, the Aggies accessible versions, as well as the PowerPoints and the keynotes. OK, so as I was saying, they're, they're brand new this year, um, the Grid 3 versions um, and also the clicker writing sets, which I'm just going to briefly show you as well. So the clicker writing sets um, are um, based exactly on the vocabulary that's available in the symbolized resources. So it's really nice because it means that the, the communication vocabulary that the child is using just to chat about the story, they can then transfer that into a writing activity. Because we're always being asked by teachers, OK, they've talked about the story, but how are they going to you know, record some work? So this is the way to do it, using the same vocabulary that they've been using to communicate. So it just um, it then um, leads on really nicely. And that link down the bottom there will take you to the Call Scotland YouTube channel on which there are videos um, of myself demonstrating using the book bug books with, with eye gaze um, and also using the clipper sets with eye gaze. So it gives you an idea how to download them and how to use them in practice. So you can 
hopefully check that out. It'll be, be useful. So as I said, if you wanted to try out the grid books and you can get a grid for iPad 30 day trial from, from Smartbox and a grid three for the PC 60 day trial. And when it comes to the cooker resources, I'm going to show you in a second, you can get a 28 day free trial as well to try them out. So let's just have a quick look at the clicker resources. So clicker sentences, and I'm going to look at the Sophie Johnson one to go with the Sophie Johnson book we've seen. So Sophie loves unicorns. There's the model sentence, and then the pupil can put the sentence in the right order. You can go into the settings and change that, make it harder or more difficult. Put your full stop at the end. Sophie loves unicorns. Sophie loves unicorns. Pop your picture in at the end and then swipe to the next one. Sophie loves magic. There are 10 sentences to go with each book. And as I say, they match up to the communication vocabulary. Okay, let's see what I'm doing for time. Okay, so how can I access the shared reading resources? I've showed you the Books for All database for the books. Where do I get the clicker resources and all the other symbol resources? Well, you get them from Symbols for All website. And hopefully the screen will catch up in a second. I'll open up the, the, the link. So Symbols for All. Let me see. Go back there a second. There we go. Take you to the Symbols for All website. And if you go to this year's current primary one bag, 2020 this is where you'll get all the symbol resources paper-based resources quick guides and the clicker sets as you can see there three different clicker sets which will work in the clicker apps and in the pc program um, and also sounding board boards which go with the the free communication app sounding board as well so they're they're all there too um quick very quick look at one of the sounding boards Let's go back into here and I'll find Sophie Johnson. There's the Sophie Johnson sounding board. So that's free. Download it onto the free app sounding board and you've got the communication Sophie. words to go with the story. Love. Sophie loves Unicorn. unicorns. And the same vocabulary that you've got in the, oh, no. the book resources as well. So they're all free, all available from that symbolized resource page. So there's communication um, symbol overlays for the, um, the paper-based resources for GoTalks, or you can just print them out and laminate them for single message devices as well, and for dialogue around any story that are shared reading uh, resources as well. Sounding boards for opinions on the book, for voting for your favorite as part of the BookBug Picture Book Prize, which work in the sounding board app, sounding, uh, the free sounding board app, which you can have on your iOS device, iPhone or iPad. So that's a kind of snapshot of everything that's available, um, the books, the resources, um, and the sounding boards. And if you want to find the previous 10 years resources, you can go to our downloadable leaflet from where Claire was showing you earlier, the download section on the call website. You can download the poster, and there are clickable links to all the resources and the books on the Books for All database too. So that's a kind of one-stop shop resource to, to access, a sort of gateway to all the resources if you'd find that handy, handy for sharing with other colleagues as well. Um, and just to say that uh, we're very pleased to, to win an AAC, um, National AAC Award this um, year as well for, for the book bug resources. Um, so we're very happy to go down to Leeds to, to receive that. Myself and Gillian represented Call Scotland and there's book bug too. Um, there are also examples of us using the resources on the Symbols for All website that you can check out too. Just to finish off, some useful links. Um, so downloading the, the books and the symbol resources, clicker and grid software. And just to let you know, we've made a new BookBug's 10th birthday pack, which is that bit.ly link there. Um, and that has got a really nice um, BookBug player to all the author videos. And there are also symbol symbolized uh, sounding board boards to go with them too, um, and videos showing you how to use them. So they could be really, that could be really handy to pass on to parents for using with their their children while they're at home. Really nice story activities. They can watch the author videos a bit like Jack and Ori style, and then they've got the sounding board boards that they can download onto their phone or their iPad for the child to, to communicate and join them with the story. And also a brand new Explorer pack too, that's just out this week from that link. And if you want to find out more, there's a webinar 
uh, myself talking a bit more about this. Um, if you want even more, um, on that link at the bottom there on our website. And if you have any further questions, I've just popped up my email address. It should take a wee second to come up. Um, and that will be, let's see if it's going to do it. Just pop my email address up there at the end. It's not behaving. There you go. And uh, if anyone wants to ask anything or has any questions or suggestions or problems, then.